Hi guys! All right, welcome to day number 19. We're almost through this challenge. We're focusing on lower body today. So, slight bend in the knees. Let's kick that booty. Well, all you need for today's workout is one heavy weight along with a chair, all right? Our first two moves are actually gonna be no weight, no chair at all. All right, bring your knees up, stretching up those hip flexors. If you need to stretch a little bit more, you're more than welcome to. All right, so I'm gonna set you up right now. I want you to stand on your right leg, okay? All the balance is going to be in the center. You're gonna be doing a toe touch. Touch your toe and then reach down to the other toe. Go ahead and join with me. Remember, opposite arm to your left leg, right arm to left, and then right arm, left arm to right leg. First going down, toe touch, toe touch. Now, if you struggle with this move, you can stay in a limited range of motion, okay? What's important here is really keeping that back flat, bending at the knees. If you start to feel too much in your back, stop right there, okay? Toe touch, toe touch. I already feel that burn right in that leg. The hamstrings, the calves from the other day. Oh my word. I'm already feeling it, you guys. Stay with me. Do one and then the other. Try not to touch that leg that's moving. Oh, do we do it? And stop right there. Nice job, you guys. Okay, triangle stretch. So keep that right leg in front, left leg back. Triangle pose, push your chest forward. Now, keep a slight bend in that knee. Hips are square, they're not twisting towards me or back. Now, you can stay here with it or deeper stretch. You're gonna open it up. Just open that chest. The hips still stay square. Back stays flat. If it's too much, you can stay here or here. You should feel a stretch in the hamstrings. And bring it up. Let's go ahead and switch to the other leg. Ready? Here we go. That leg gets a break. And now the other leg is going to feel it. Woo! Really focusing on your balance here. Balance, flexibility, strength in that standing leg. Remember that standing leg should always keep a slight bend right in that knee. Woo! I love this move. Especially if you need to really work on balance. You should add this to your routine. So it's strengthening those hamstrings, but also strengthening your ankles. Woo! Down and up. Up and down. Pull those abs in tight. Whoa! Keep your hips back as you go down. Ensure a nice flat back. Let's do one more. I gotta make it even. All right, left leg is forward now. Both toes point forward. You wanna reach with that chest forward. Knee is bent. Staying here. Or for that deeper stretch, you're gonna open up the chest. The back still is flat here. And you're reaching up towards that ceiling, okay? You always come down just as long as you maintain a flat back is the important part here. If it's too much, come up a little bit, but you should still feel the stretch on the, the hamstring. All right, let's go ahead and grab that chair with that heavy weight. Woo! So it's fast, you guys. All right, one heavy weight. Go ahead and stand on your right leg. Other leg kicks out. Standing and sitting one leg at a time. Woo! Keep that weight close. You hear noises, that's the chair. I promise. <laughs> a little squeaky. Coming down, make sure you're pushing through that heel to come back up. And making sure that other foot is not touching the ground, unless you really need just a little bit more balance and support. Then you can just touch that toe barely down, okay? So do what works for you. Woo! Good job, you guys. Feeling good today. Working that lower body, one leg at a time. I love these exercises when we do each leg separately so that each leg gets stronger. All right, go ahead and put down the weight. Now that leg that did all the work, I want you to cross it over that top knee and standing glute stretch. Now, you can always do this if you want. Oh, that feels good. Just keep that back flat, chest forward. You're gonna feel that stretch more in your glutes. Guess what, you guys? One more and then we're done. We've got the other side. If this is your 
full workout. You can do three to four sets. If this is your added bonus workout, great work. Let's go ahead and pick up that weight now. With a flat back or tight. All right, go ahead and stand. Make sure you're not gonna fall over. Come down, adjust as needed. Here we go, straight up, straight down. So you should switch legs. Woo! Your hamstrings and booty are gonna feel this in about two days. Especially if you do multiple sets. Make sure that back is flat, core is tight. If you come down, you're going down as slow as you can, okay? You're going down not with momentum or speed. You're using the legs to bring you up, and you're using the legs whoo, to bring you down. Not gravity. Again, use that toe for balance. But remember, you're really using one leg for the majority of this move. Oh my goodness, feeling that burn. Let's do one more, one more. Rest. I mean, I don't know how even that was, but you know, we're gonna say it is. All right, go ahead and put down the weight. And I'm just gonna stay seated, cross that leg over above the knee. Keep your back flat. Again, if you wanna focus on your balance, you could do it from this position. Same thing, okay? I just like to sit, cause you know, if I have a chair, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Good job today, you guys. So proud of you. You're doing this whole program with me. Session complete. That is day number 19. And tomorrow we move back up into upper body. So thanks again for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep rocking it. We're almost done. Bye, guys.